In today's video, I'm going to break down 10 very important things that all new print-on-demand sellers need to know. With that being said, if you are new to print-on-demand, I definitely recommend this video. It is going to be a pretty rapid fire pace video, so stick around for this short one. You're going to learn a lot. If you're new here, my name is Greg, and I like to talk about online entrepreneurship and sharing the resources that I wish I had along my journey. So if you're interested in making money online, feel free to look around the channel and consider subscribing. Now, as we start going through these 10 points, any videos that are mentioned will be linked down in the description. Additionally, if you do wanna jump around this video a little bit, there's going to be a table of contents down in the description. Without further ado, you guys know the style of these videos. There is no fluff, so let's get right into number one. The first thing that a lot of you are probably wondering if you're new to print on demand is how do you get paid? So as you've likely seen on the other videos on the channel, I recommend using three print on demand platforms. That is Teespring, Redbubble, and Merch by Amazon. So how do you get paid on those three? On Teespring, you can choose to be paid either through PayPal or through Payoneer. Now on either of those, you just need a personal account. You don't need to have a business account. Now the cool thing about Teespring is whenever you get a sale and it ships, the profit hits your account and you can actually pay out as frequently as you would like. They do not automatically pay out every month, so make sure that when you build up funds in your account and you want that deposited to your PayPal or Payoneer, you go to your payouts tab and you can choose to pay out there. On Redbubble, you can choose to be paid through PayPal or direct deposit to your bank and they are going to pay out every month their payout comes at the 15th of the month, but it takes a few additional days for that to process and actually hit your account. And lastly, Merch by Amazon, you can choose to either have a direct deposit to your bank, you can get an Amazon gift card, or you can get a check mailed to you. With that being said, Merch by Amazon automatically pays out once per month as well. Moving on to number two, can you do print on demand worldwide or is it limited to certain countries or regions? The short answer here is yes, you can be a print on demand seller from anywhere in the world. On Teespring, they put in the option of being paid through Payoneer because Payoneer is more of a global payment system as opposed to PayPal. So if your country or region does not support PayPal, you can use a Payoneer account to sign up with Teespring. With that said, you can sign up from anywhere in the world as long as you can use a Payoneer account. For Merch by Amazon, in regards to selling worldwide, just know that if your country or region is not in their supported list when you're going through the application, you can go over to Payoneer.com and you can use their US payment service. By doing this, it actually gives you a bank that's located in the United States, so that way you can use United States as the country and put in the banking information of your Payoneer account. And lastly, on Redbubble, this is going to be the most restrictive since they only offer direct deposit or PayPal. If you are located somewhere in the world that you can't make a PayPal account and your direct deposit bank location is not supported by Redbubble, this one may be a little tricky for you to sign up on. With that being said, if you can't get into Redbubble, just know that you can absolutely use Teespring and Merch by Amazon. Question number three, this is can you upload the same design to all three of these websites? The answer here is absolutely yes. This is a huge part of the strategy that I talk about on this channel. Channel, but once you create one great design, upload that file to Teespring, upload that file to Merch by Amazon, and upload it to Redbubble. Additionally, you can use the same titles and descriptions for all of these designs on all three of the sites. Now, I'll talk about this a little bit more, and I'll mention a video that you can watch in the description later on in this video. However, this is a big part of the strategy to succeed with print on demand. Number four, how do you create t shirt designs that are going to sell with print on demand? A lot of us don't have graphic design experience, myself included, so the key here is you need to be using an external design tool. Something that's very important is to make sure that the design tool that you're using comes with full commercial usage rights. Not all design tools come with commercial usage rights. And essentially what that means is when you create a design on their design tool, if you have commercial usage rights, you can upload that design anywhere, you can print it and you can profit from it. Additionally, by using an external design tool and not creating designs on the actual websites, that allows you to save the design to your computer so that you can easily upload it to all three of these sites as I just mentioned before. Now this is something that is very important for all of you if you are new to print on demand, you need to have a good idea of how to create these designs. So I'm going to link a full video and I'll call it Make Great Designs down in the description. So to learn more about that, I recommend checking that video out. Number five, how much do you price your items on print on demand websites? The short answer here without getting into too much detail is I always recommend pricing your items a couple dollars below the suggested price. The suggested price is typically going to be a little bit too high for most people to purchase. So if you bring it a couple dollars below that, you will still make a good profit and people will be more receptive to paying that much for an item. Now you'll see in some of the other videos on this channel, I've done tests on this. I've priced it low to see if I could sell more items. I've priced it high to see if I could just get big profit margins and somewhere in the middle, a couple dollars below the suggested price always yielded the most profit at the end of the day. 
not necessarily the most sales, but the most profit in my accounts at the end of the day. So that's where I recommend pricing your items. Number six, how long is it going to take to see your first sales? This is a very common question. And the first thing we need to understand is the difference between the three sites. Teespring has what's called a trust score. So essentially what that means is a new seller on their platform kind of has to prove themselves before Teespring goes and lists their items in the marketplace and does their marketing for you. So essentially you need to do a little bit of marketing on your own. I know you don't have to pay for this marketing. You don't have to do paid ads. I recommend doing it on Instagram. That has proven to work the best for me, but essentially Essentially, the idea is on Teespring specifically, you need to get between two and 10 sales of your own, and then they recognize you as a trusted seller and they will start doing all the marketing for you. Now, when we switch over to Merch by Amazon and Redbubble, they don't have this built into their system. So as soon as you start uploading your designs, they're going to go onto the marketplace and people will start seeing them essentially from day one. Now, with that being said, this is the next video that I recommend watching down in the description. I'm going to name this video Full Strategy and it's going to go through everything you need to know to get your first sales. Now with that in mind, coming back to how long does it actually take to see your first sales? I have seen it anywhere from a couple days to a couple months. This is based on a few different variables, but essentially if you're following this full strategy, you'll likely see your first sales coming in within a couple days to a couple months. Now you can ask around in the comments and ask other people how long it's taken for them. Additionally, if you go through other videos on this channel, I love that you guys are coming back to the videos and sharing how long it's taken for you to get your first sales just so other people can see it and be reassured that this does actually work. So for those of you who have been commenting that, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate reading that and I'm sure a lot of other people who are new here definitely appreciate that as well. Number seven, how much can you actually make with print on demand? So just know that if you're pricing your items a couple dollars below the suggested selling price, you're going to make anywhere from two to maybe $15 per sale. However, you're not going to sell every item every day. So what I've boiled it down from all of my sales in the past, it kind of breaks down to an average of about $1 per listing per site per month. Now I know that may sound a little bit confusing, but allow me to explain it for you very easily. Let's say that you use a design tool to create 100 designs, and then you upload those 100 designs to Teespring, you upload those same 100 designs to Redbubble, and you upload those same 100 designs to Merch by Amazon. Now this means that you have 100 designs on each site, making a total of 300 designs uploaded. On average, I've seen about $300 per month in income from all of these combined. Moving on to number eight, how many designs do you really need to make to succeed on print on demand? So what I would recommend to anyone who's starting out on print on demand is to make at least 50 designs and upload them to all three of these sites. That's going to give you 150 different listings uploaded, and that is a great place to start where you're going to start seeing sales coming in. Now, once you've done this, start to look at your goals. What are your financial goals and how much money do you need to make per month? Then run the equation that we just talked about previously and see how many different listings you need to have uploaded. But going back to the main question, I think you should make at least 50 designs and upload them to all three of the sites, and that should be your first goal until you start to see sales coming in. Now, just to share something personal about creating designs, just to give you a little bit of reassurance about this, Back in my peak of uploading designs, I was doing about 50 designs per day. Once you have a good design tool, you can go very quickly with this and make a lot of great designs. This is why I recommend having a good design tool as opposed to making them on the website or using something like Photoshop that may take you a lot of time. When you have a good design tool that you can really fly through, you can make a ton of great designs every day. So aim for 50 and upload them to all three sites and that's a great starting goal. Number nine, this is definitely the one that I'm most excited about to share because you don't see this commonly shared. And this is how much traffic do each of these sites get on a monthly basis? So starting off with Teespring, Teespring gets roughly 14.27 million visitors to their website per month. Moving on to Redbubble, Redbubble gets about 17.9 million visitors to their website every month. And then lastly, Merch by Amazon, since it's on Amazon's marketplace, they get roughly 2.19 billion visitors to their website every month. That is a ton of traffic coming to all three of these websites every month that you do not have to pay for and you do not have to do any marketing to get. So that brings us to the last thing that you need to know if you are new to print on demand, and that is how do you succeed in print on demand? In order to succeed on print on demand, especially if you're new, you need to follow this simple strategy. You need to create and upload a lot of great designs. If you break this down into just three parts, that's all you need. First is finding good niches to go into where there's not a ton of competition, making great designs and uploading them to all three of the sites, and then uploading those great designs to all three of these websites to get in front of all of that traffic every month that we just talked about. As you can see, once you break it down, these websites get a ton of traffic on their own. So the name of the game and the strategy to making a lot of money in print on demand is creating and uploading a ton of great designs to these websites so all that traffic can see them. 
So with those 10 things in mind, if you are new to print on demand, there's going to be a ton of videos on this channel that will help you out. The three that I would recommend that you really start with are the three linked in the description. The first one's going to be how to find good niches. The second one's going to be how to create good designs. And then the third one's going to be the full strategy of putting it all together. Now, additionally below that is going to be a print on demand startup checklist. It's 100% free to download and it basically just walks you through step by step. It's something you can put on your computer and you can always reference back to. So those should be all the resources that you need and they're all linked just down in the description. Now, don't forget if you need to come back to this video for an answer, there is the table of contents down in the description. So if you come back and you wanna find something quickly, you can jump around right there. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope it has been helpful and answered a lot of questions that you may be having if you're new to print on demand. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed, you can do that as well. And lastly, if you have any questions at all about this, something that wasn't covered in this video, just let me know down in the comments and I'd be happy to help you out. All right, guys, that's it for today. I will see you all in the next video.